Have you ever felt overwhelmed in your circumstances? Do you perhaps feel like everybody is loading weight on your shoulders, that a lot of pressure is building up in your life and you do not have any solution? You might even tell me, to say I'm overwhelmed is an understatement. Well, what do we normally do when we feel like that? After every possible effort was made to fix it ourselves and we've ran out of options still remaining in a desperate state of helplessness, then we go to God. So I call out to God and it feels like there is no answer nor a place even to leave a message. I reach the point where I start to wonder whether there is a God. If He exists, does He even care about me? I pray, Lord help me to fix my life so that everything can return back to normal. Normal? What is normal? Well, everybody must be nice with me. Everything must fall into place all the time. Well, happiness, joy, celebration, what else? That is what I'm praying for, Lord. And now, I wait, and I'll believe, and I will trust. But nothing seems to change, and it gets even harder. So I have to reach an alarming conclusion. Out of hurt and desperation, I say, it obviously confirms that either there is no God, or there is a God, but He doesn't care about me. How can I make sense of all of this pressure and problems and stress in my life, Lord? I look for answers in the Bible and see verses like, Seek and you shall find. Ask and it will be given unto you. Yes, Lord, and what about that lady nagging the unjust judge? And he said, I don't fear God or care about people. But this woman is driving me crazy. I'm going to see that she gets justice because she is wearing me out with her constant requests. Then I read, So, don't you think God will surely give justice to His chosen people who cry out to Him day and night? Will He keep putting them off? So what about me, Lord? Why is my life still full of pain? I'm desperate, Lord. Why don't you help me? I cannot go on like this. Won't it be nice if I could get a direct answer from God, like a direct call or a voice message from above? What will I hear? How will God explain my suffering? Explain to me, Lord. Well, my child, let's look at the Bible. How many people do you see inside this book that was happy all the time, had no problems, no suffering, how many people in the Bible had a life where everything fell into place all the time without any problems? Look at Joseph in the pit and in jail. Did I take him out of the pit or jail and send him back to his father? What about Daniel in the lion's den? Did I make the lions disappear? Take David and Goliath. I still allowed him to face Goliath. Not even my son Jesus had things easy. Jesus, while praying in the garden, showed you how desperate your prayers can become in your hour of need. Your prayers will start fighting against pressure. Your prayers will fight against discomfort, begging me for everything just to fall into place and begging me for the easy way out. Jesus showed you how to handle hard circumstances. You need to trust that my way and my plan for your life is the best and I will carry you through it all. So is it right for you to say that I do not care about you? Just because I'm not providing you with 24-7 comfort? Just because I do not make your problems disappear? You see, the question is not, am I helping you or not? You must rather ask, Lord, show me how you are helping me. You might not understand what's happening to you right now. I know that you feel totally and more than overwhelmed. Okay, Lord, how do you help? So nobody had it easy in the Bible. I get it. Now what are you doing? Do you watch us suffer and just stand back? letting us drown in our overwhelming sorrows and pain? No. Then please help me at least to understand some of this. 
My child, yes, there will be a valley, but I will be with you. Yes, there will be hills and challenges, but when you look up unto the hills, I will provide you with help. Help? What help, Lord? I need help. Please help. How do you help me? Habakkuk 3 verse 17. Read it. Even though the fig trees have no blossoms, and there are no grapes on the vines, even though the olive crops fail, and the fields lie empty and barren, even though the flocks die in the fields, and the cattle barns are empty, yet will I rejoice in the Lord, I will be joyful in the God of my salvation. So you are telling me to rejoice in the midst of my suffering? Tell me how can I rejoice when my life is falling apart? How can I rejoice when my circumstances do not even seem to change? How can I rejoice when I have so much hurt inside? Must I rejoice when I feel stuck on this high mountain, on this cliff of mine? I'm scared, Lord. Get me off of this mountain. I cannot go on. How could Habakkuk rejoice? I don't get it. Read on. The sovereign Lord is my strength. In your times of trouble, I will give you the right amount of strength you need. He makes me as sure-footed as a deer. You can rejoice, because I will change your feet, equipping you to stand strong in your circumstances. I will give you what you need to stand strong and to grow. He makes me as sure-footed as a deer, able to tread upon heights. Lord, help me to stand in the midst of my circumstances. I need to walk upon high places. Yes, sometimes God will remove my problems away from me. And for other times, I need to accept and understand that He will help me by equipping me to stand strong on heights of life so that I can walk on high places, so that I can adapt and grow stronger in Him. For the choir director, this prayer must be accompanied by stringed instruments. So while you feel that being overwhelmed is an understatement, learn to keep a song on your mountain. Know that He is with you, cheering you on, giving you advice, and He will equip you to be able to stand strong. Teach me, Lord, to see your hands in my problem, to hear your voice guiding me, to feel your presence, to understand your help, to grow stronger with you, to accept the help you give me when you make my feet like a deer on the mountain and not taking me off the mountain. Help me, Lord, to sing my song on the mountain. Thank you, Lord, for being there for me for picking me up and giving me the strength and courage to stand strong and firm on my mountain. Thank you, Lord, to say I am overwhelmed by your help is an understatement.